Hey everybody, what's up? You're on Better Body Expert TV. And today I wanted to speak about one of the biggest trends, the biggest fads in fitness right now. It's get out of your comfort zone and that's where your results lie. I like that. I think it's a really cool, um, what is that? A really cool quote, a really cool statement. But guess what? If you really want to see fitness results, getting out of your comfort zone is the least you can do. It's the least you will have to do. You're going to be disillusioned if you think stepping out of your comfort zone every once in a while, stepping out of your comfort zone even every single day is going to get you the results because it won't. Now let me break it down. Why that is so. It's because a comfort zone is something that you've established mentally in your mind for however long. It's a long-standing mental, let's say, fence that you've put around yourself. And on the other side of that fence, there's possibility. But your fence can be so small that when you step outside of your comfort zone, the actions that you take will not add up to you seeing the results you want to see. Because just your, your comfort zone in your box is too small. It's not, <laughs> you give yourself no leeway. It's like, if you wanted to, uh, if you do 10 push-ups every single day and outside of your comfort zone is 11, that's not going to give you the results you want. The results you want might be 100 push-ups that you have to do in a day. So now you're not stepping out of a mental framework. You have to step out of a physical framework. And that physical framework might, the, the physicality that's needed to get you the fitness results you want might might be actually far outside of your comfort zone so far out of your comfort zone that you got to create a brand new reality so i'm going to say that results are going to come from you on a physical level not outside of your comfort zone but every time you reach physical failure so that means in your training let's say you're used to doing 10 stepping out of your comfort zone is 12 and you reach muscle failure at 20 the amount of times that you reach 20 is going to be commensurate with the amount of prod product, the amount of progress that you make. So stepping out of your comfort zone is just like the first step. It's a little teeny thing. If you run five miles and running six is stepping out of your comfort zone and you really can't run anymore at seven, the more times you go to seven miles an hour is the better your results are going to be because our human bodies respond to high or intense stimulus not just stimulus that is outside of your mental frame it has to be stimulus that takes your body to the max every once in a while you got to go there and the people who go there the most who reach muscle failure who run till they can't run anymore who sprint to the point where they're heaving like <gasps> they're the leanest strongest people also, that does something for your mind. When you train to the point where you can't do another one properly, where you're stressed, where you fail at the exercise, something happens in your brain. You become more resilient. You become a better thinker. You start to think, like, how can I get past that the next time? You become intrigued. It brings a sort of energy of progress into all that you do in life. So it's not about leaving your comfort zone. It's about going to the max every once in a while. you got to do it to test everything that you are and to expand both mentally and physically. So it's been Dre. Screw that comfort zone talk. Take it to failure, people. Take it to failure. Go to muscle failure. Run as fast as you can sometimes. Do things just as to the brink of your capabilities. And you know what you do? You expand your capabilities on every single level when you do that. This is Andre Farnell. Subscribe to the channel. That distinction is a small distinction, but it's a huge distinction. Um, it makes all the difference in the world, people. Peace.